Hideo Kojima will be working on a brand new horror game. A Microsoft exclusive is coming to Steam, Apex Legends making duos a permanent mode and much more. Welcome to a new month and a new episode of Top Gaming News. My name is Gain Manners and I'll take you through the news of this week. COVID-19 pandemic is still at large with the number of cases in India rising up to around 1000 and more and at times like these we need to do something from our side to help fight this pandemic. And that's where a streamer named Steve Zad has done. Steve Zad is a Facebook partner streamer who streams PUBG and has a lot of following. People love to tune into his streams and see his gameplay and just normally chit chat with him. Well, very recently, Steve's dad donated around 1 lakh rupees to Prime Minister National Relief Fund to help those who are affected by COVID-19. He has also told that he will be streaming till 14th of April as charity stream for COVID-19, that is until this lockdown is going to be over. Lockdown finish hone tak, jitne bhi stars aap mujhe denge, wo main sare ke sare donate kar dunga Prime Minister National Relief Fund ko, taaki jo wo funds ikatte hoke, पूरे इंडिया भर के हमारे लोगों को उसकी हेल्प हो सके और जिन जिन लोगों को जरूरत है आज के डेट में पैसों की कमी है या किसी भी तरह से वो पैसों की यूटिलाइजेशन हो सकती है वो उनको मदद मिल सके he believes that he should be doing something for india to fight this pandemic and for that well i have a huge amount of respect for him i also did an interview back in gamer connect lucknow last year where i talked about his journey on streaming in facebook and what worked for him and what advice will he give to new streamers you can check it out in our own channel well not only steve said there's a lot of other streamers who are trying their best to help from their side on this situation something that is very much needed because with their help their followers will be following precautions to help themselves stay safe from the situation well apex legends will be having a new event that will be focused on bloodhound and will have a permanent addition of duos and map rotation in the game between world's edge and king's canyon that is something that everybody wanted ever since the second map came out now maybe later down the line they will add solos as another mode because ever since solo came out a lot of people were actually happy to play it this event will have bloodhound trials on the world's edge where beasts roam the ground and you will have to take down the horde of prowlers and get exciting new loots and not only that you have to be cautious about other teams who are going to kill you because you are easily distracted at that moment there's also another thing called the old ways where players can complete challenges and earn points to pick up rewards based on stories from the outline animated short that they uploaded on youtube you can also directly purchase the legendary skins and r301 skins that were exclusive to battle pass owners well the biggest thing is making duos and map rotation a permanent thing now map rotation is something that i wanted ever since world edge came out because map rotation is always better in games like these and also making duos permanent is something that a lot of people want and now maybe in the future solos can come as a permanent thing and then probably everybody will be so happy with apex legends maybe the next thing will be making custom servers a free to use thing for all indian players so will you guys be trying that event out let me know in the comments below because we bloodhounders we have a job to do well last week i talked about kojima wanting to make a horror game after he made some kind of reference in a tweet he posted some time ago but today i'm going to tell you that he will be making a horror game because in an interview very recently from bafta Kojima was talking about his previous game that is Death Stranding and also talking about the future games that he might be making. Now in this interview he talked about the well known cancelled game called PT and he described how they use forbidden techniques to increase fear in players as they played the demo. And it is a one off thing and they cannot use that method in the next game he wants to work on. He goes on saying that PT is a mysterious game made from a mysterious company and it just ended as an experiment but he wants to create another horror game someday. He believes that he wants to make a horror game that uses revolutionary methods to increase fear and bring terror to the game. That doesn't just pee your pants but also crap your pants. That is exactly the line he said and that line alone is actually making me scared. Now Kojima also admitted that he got easily scared by watching horror movies and he wants to use that in games. Now as we know Kojima is a huge fan of movies so mixing movies and horror elements together is just a perfect mixture of Kojima. Maybe if he will start working on this new horror project this could be another masterpiece just like PT. Well it now depends upon when Kojima is going to start on this project because earlier we were told about a rumor that Kojima will be working on a Silent Hill game because Sony bought the rights to Silent Hill games from Konami but Konami just goes ahead and said all those rumors are untrue. 
but now it's actually good to see that Kojima actually wants to make a horror game and probably has a project in his mind that he can start working on sometime I don't know when. A game that was exclusive to Microsoft Store is now coming to Steam and that game name is called Sea of Thieves. This game came out early in 2018 where you have a ship of your own and you sail across the map to find loot, to go to islands and do missions and also fight creatures like Meg or Kraken. And not only that, you will have other players trying to attack your own ship so that they can get your loot. Now one good thing about this is that if you buy this game on Steam, it has full cross-play supported. That means if you have this game on Xbox One, you can play with Steam players or if you bought this game using Microsoft Store, you can still play with the Steam players. The game has improved a lot from its initial stage and also has received the best ongoing game award last year. And very recently the game has an update called Hearts of Fire that adds more mission into the game and much more. This is actually a really fun game where you can go with your friends or actually even alone to find certain missions, to go through different quests and even fight other ships. And that's not the only game that's coming to Steam, apparently Fallout 76 that is also coming to Steam. And if you own this game from Bethesda, you will get a free copy of this game on Steam. Well right now Fallout 76 isn't doing that great but its next big update called Wastelanders will be of course big because it will be adding NPCs for the first time and that means the plot will be surrounding these NPCs and it will be quite interesting to play the game. But there is also another cool thing that they have added is that if you buy Fallout 76 Standard Edition or Fallout 76 Wastelander Edition or maybe the Wastelander Deluxe Edition, you will get Fallout Classic Bundle for free which includes Fallout 1, Fallout 2 and Fallout Tactics. Now that is a pretty cool bundle in my opinion and this will only increase the player base of Fallout 76. Not only that it's coming on Steam but also looking at what that classic bundle holds. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster came out on PS4 and is exclusive for a month and will be coming out on Xbox and PC on April 30th and it seems like there's something interesting found in the PC version of the game. So the interesting thing that was found is that in order to play the game you have to keep your internet connection active all the time. That is something that Modern Warfare, the new one, is already using. Well, it is not a big deal because everybody uses internet connection while they're playing the games because they're also playing multiplayer games. Now, there has been a lot of videos about the remaster gameplay in YouTube all around, but it actually looks good with newer graphics, new animation, and also watching Ghost and Roads die once again. But with all of this also comes multiplayer and a lot of people are fed up that multiplayer is not a part of Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. And to be honest they're right because multiplayer of Modern Warfare 2 Remaster was something different and I would love to play that game but unfortunately it's not in the game. Now even though Modern Warfare 2019 multiplayer is more realistic but Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer was just fun. A lot of COD players actually prefer the old playstyle of Call of Duty and wanted that to return in Modern Warfare 2 but unfortunately that is not the case. Now the game is not that pricey, it comes around 1600 and if you want to own the game you have to go to Battle.net to buy the game in PC. The exclusivity feature is also something that players are unhappy because the game is now exclusive to PS4 for one month and after that it comes to PC and Xbox. Well Activision is also not in fault here because Activision actually made a deal with Sony and because of it they had to do something for Sony and they had to make this game exclusive for a month. And that to be honest just sucks big time. Well, the Doom community is trying to find innovative ways to discover new news things such as the pistol which is a gun that was just taken away from Doom Eternal just because it doesn't fit the game and now the community has found out a third person view in the Doom Eternal game and it actually looks kind of funny. <laughs> the same thing was also done with Doom 2016 but that wasn't that great but in Doom Eternal the third person view doesn't look that bad. Now of course this is something that people don't want exactly to be in the game because ever since Doom was rebuilt it was a first person game so having third person doesn't really kind of make sense but it's actually not bad to try. It's not the ideal third person view that you want like from Gears or Resident Evil but it is kind of funny to play. You can try to have third person mode by going to Fearless Cheat Engine Community. They have a number of steps that will let you have third person view in this game and actually much more. Well, those are the top gaming news for this week. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this episode and remember to hit the like button and also click on subscribe if you haven't already because more new episodes are coming very soon. Follow us on all social media platforms to know everything about Gamer Connect and much more. And also join Gamer Connect community where you can take part in activities, talk about games and also play with a lot of players. This was me Gain Madness and I'll see you guys next time.